Hello friends, welcome to Google Tech. Today, day number 18 of DAX functions in Power BI. Previously, we have discussed 27 different DAX functions in our channel. If you are watching our channel for the first time and if you are not subscribed and if you have missed our 27 days of different DAX functions, not to worry. We have provided the playlist links for the DAX function in our description box. You can go ahead and watch it. And if you are liking our video, please do give a big like button and if you are not liking, please give your comment or the valuable feedback in our comment box so that we can improvise our video and provide it in a better way. Today we are going to discuss about the second formula in statistical DAX function. First one is average. We have discussed the previous video. Today we are going to discuss about the average A DAX function. So what is the difference between average and average A DAX function? And how it is used in Power BI, we are going to discuss in this full video. I request everyone to not skip their video in between so that you will not miss any piece of information about this average A function. Let's start with the today's video. So previously we have done with the average function, this is of the average formula. So now today we are, as we mentioned, we are going to see the average function. I am going to create a new measure. I am going to name, I am naming it as average A is equal to, if I type average A and hit a tab button, you can see returns the average of values in the column, handles the text and non-numeric values, which means this function will handle both the text and non-numeric values. But in average, it will not handle any non-numeric or uh, text values. This average A function will handle the text function and non-numeric functions as a null value. So that you will get the piece of information without A affected. Like in between of rows, if you have missed in, you know, in, in sales, if you have given it as central or north, it will automatically ignore that particular row and it will consider as zero and then it will go for the other row. That is the dif uh, one difference between average and average A. So now we are going to deal with the average A. I am going to give the again sales. I am hitting the enter. So you can see the same value we have get. Hope you have understood this difference between average and average A function. How this average A function works. We will meet you in the next exciting video. Until then, bye from Google Tech. Thank you and Jai Hind.